Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Road Maintenance Simulator. So as many of you know, I spent about 10 years being a civil engineer working on highways mainly and I did quite a bit of supervision of the guys that used to maintain the roads. Now the question I've always asked myself is doing that supervision, watching people doing their job that know what they're doing, would I be able to do that myself? Well today we're going to find out because we are in Road Maintenance Simulator where we're going to be securing, bulldozing and marking apparently, whatever that means. Oh, road marks, maybe. Who knows? But first, my girlfriend gave me a hot chocolate, so I'm just going to have a cheeky little slurp. So this is a bit of an ASMR moment. All right, so here we are at the depot. Ooh, that's quite a lot in here. We've got a load of signs, got wheelbarrows, some ducks. Not ducks, duct, sir. With a T at the end. Oh, I've literally, oh, look. So this is like a pneumatic, like, flattener, like a compact, I can't remember the name. Compactor, maybe? No, it's sort of like a pogo stick. Can you see that, like, yellow coily thing at the end? Like, everything above there is in your hand. Everything below that plate, it vibrates up and down. Oh, look, here we go. <laughs> no way. So yeah, basically, if you dig, like, a drainage trench or something, you, when you've fill the stone back in you then come along with this and you like flatten the top of it to compact it so it doesn't like sink over time oh this is really cool i was not expecting like one of these in a game ever but uh yeah we'll put that back now uh, we should probably actually go see what we're doing i think we're meant to be going to this house well it's not it's not a house it's a, it's a building but uh we'll see what's in here replace guardrail on the highway guardrail i'm going to assume they mean safety fencing which is the technical term or vertical restraint system basically like the safety barrier We've ne we don't call them guardrails. All right, so we've got to get the necessary materials, cordon off the area while you're working. Oh, we're doing traffic management ourselves and replace them. We got to dispose of the old ones as well. Okay. Oh man, I'm so excited about this game. There's like there's tarmacers and rollers. Oh, they've got drainage. <laughs> they've got drainage. <laughs> I shouldn't be this excited. All right, what are in these? There's doors. Oh, we got vans. Oh my god, how many tools are there? There's like chainsaws and leaf blowers. I assume that's a hedge cutter. Yeah, that's a hedge cutter. Wow. Are all of these the same or are they all a bit different? Ah, oh, so this is one I've got to go in. Ah, oh, this is a... Okay. So this is a traffic management truck. You've probably seen these on the side of roads. They're for like quick jobs where you don't really have to cordon off too much. Like, you don't need cones and traffic lights, whatever. So you just park this up. They light up in a cross saying don't crash into the back of me pretty much. And then you just rotate the arrow to go one way or the other. Oh, it's left hand drive though. This could be a bit confusing. Anyway, we'll hop in. Classic, our high vis is covered in muck. Uh, it is actually against the law to wear high vis that isn't like properly reflective, at least in the UK. Right, anyway, let's uh, turn the engine on and then drive this over to the materials warehouse where we're going to fill up with our materials. So I assume we just come like here. All right, it's top left. We've got to open the tailgate and then load it with traffic beacons and the bases. So open the tailgate. <laughs> How's that going to help us? <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, now I can load it up because that's not in the way. Oh man, you actually carry you. Look at this. Why is this so cool? So these are the bases for the beacons. And as you can see, I'm glad we opened the tailgate because that's very useful. That's allowing us to get in there. No problems. Oh, we can actually open the side. Okay, I stand corrected. We've opened the side. Oh, automatically load remaining items. Yes, please. I am lazy. Oh, game. I actually really appreciate that. Like some simulators, like they make you do things that are a little bit too boring. Basically, they just simulated me telling the intern to go and load up the truck. <laughs> All right, next up, we got these. These are the beacons. They go in next. All right, yep. Yeah, let's get the intern on it again. Thank you. All right, so now we need tools. So we're going to need this drill thing. It's like to do up the bolts and stuff nice and quickly. So we grab that. Yep, yeah, that's in my hand. I've got to load that on its own, probably. Yep, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and we've also got the wheelbarrow. Wee! <laughs> So that's in, close the tailgate, and we're good to go. No, we're not. No, we're not. I forgot the guardrails. Oh, yeah. So there is, it is safety barrier. Yeah, sorry, game. These aren't called guardrails in the UK. Maybe they are in America, but uh, not in the UK. Vehicle restraint system is the technical term. Right, but there we're in. So we'll get in our truck, and then we'll follow our sat-nav in the top right. I assume these gates open automatically, do they? Uh, do I... <laughs> I don't literally have to get out and press that switch, do I? Can I? I'm literally using my mirror to reverse and not hit that cart. Right, how do I wind down the window to press that button? All right, there we go. Gate's open. Oh my god, there's actually traffic as well. Right, so we're going left. Sod it. This is what we do all the time. Ah! <laughs> Oh, we're not going left. We're meant to be going right. Sat navs are hard, right? I'm going to have to find somewhere to turn around. Oh no, I think I'm going onto the motorway. <laughs> oh, I'm drifting. Oh god. Oh god. Right, mirror, blind spot. 
out of the lane. Nice. You have to remember, I'm technically driving on the wrong side of the motorway. The UK, we drive on the other side of the road. This is a bit confusing for me. Anyway, we turn off down here. Go over the bridge. Go for the overtake. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Apparently, you have to go onto another motorway. I really messed up by taking the wrong turn at the start. <laughs> Mirror. Blind spot. We're good. Oh, we're here. We're here. Oh, okay. So emergency lights go on. We pull into the hard shoulder and then we stop here. So I can switch my arrow to the left. So if I press left and then get out my car, I should probably get out the road as well. You can see my arrow is pointing left. So I'm basically saying to these guys, oh, give me a wide berth like they're doing. Nice one, lads. Uh, in the UK as well, these aren't just trucks like that. They There's like literally like a, it's like a big old suspension-y thing. So that if a car does crash into the back of it, people in the truck won't get annihilated. Uh, however, we're not in the UK because we're driving on the wrong side of the road. Anyway, let's lower this. We've unloaded the wheelbarrow, so we're going to stack a load of them in there. Then we'll bring them down here. Oh man, I wish we would walk a little bit faster. <laughs> So we'll park up a wheelbarrow and then we'll grab a base. Then you can see our vehicle is protecting us. Although actually, you wouldn't actually start at this end. Let's do this properly, Matt. Let's do this properly. So starting close to your vehicle, you'd grab the bases. You'd plonk them down, trying to keep your vision looking up there because you don't want to get flattened by a car. Take the wheelbarrow up and then we'd plonk these in there as well. Annoyingly, I can only load three things in at a time. That wheelbarrow can take way more than three little bones. But oh well, here we go. So we plonk these in and then we're sort of protected. We can keep working our way along until they're all done. So we just got the final few ones to go now and in the uk we don't actually do this ourselves like the contractors they're the people who like do the construction work they would like hire someone to do it a traffic manager i mean not always i guess but most of the time you wouldn't be doing this yourself particularly like the bigger jobs you'd have a team come in that are specifically designed just to put the traffic management up because they would actually stay sat in the trucks keeping an eye on everything, making sure the public aren't weaving between cones or whatever. And yes, that has happened before. Bloody people like driving the wrong side of the cones thinking they're cool or whatever. Whereas when you're when you're actually stood on the side of the road and you sort of realize like there's cars flying past at 70 miles an hour, like these little bits of plastic, they're just little cones. They're not going to save you. Yeah, it is pretty scary. It's actually one of the most dangerous places to be in the UK on the side of a motorway. More dangerous, in fact, than being stood under a bridge that an architect has designed and an engineer hasn't looked at yet. Anyway, we are now removing the old guardrails. So we just got to drill off the old bolts. I assume that's what we're doing. Is that what we're doing? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And then we can grab the old one, take it back to the truck. I'm just going to finish my hot chocolate quickly as well. Tea break. Tea break time. Everyone knows that. ASMR moment. <laughs> Right, tea break over. Let's carry on doing this. So drill those bolts off, grab the old rail, load it in the truck. Same with this one. Right, and then we're ready to install the new guardrails. So we'll grab one of them, walk in the middle of the motorway. Apparently there's no traffic anymore, so... <laughs> shove them down here and then we just gotta screw them up so we're just putting new bolts on lovely jubbly and then we just rinse and repeat and if you've ever wondered how these guardrails work it feels weird calling them guardrails it really does basically they're sort of they are designed to break if you like so basically this like front edge it's basically like a sheet of metal that's all linked together so when a vehicle hits this, like these posts, they are designed to shear off. And then as the car hits it, this like this metal strip will like sort of act as like, I don't know, like a flexible barrier. So the vehicle will go like back a bit, but then it'll get like whipped back in. So they are designed to move. They're designed to like take an impact rather than like a solid shunting of the barrier. And basically they space the poles in terms of like how far back the barrier can go. So like where we are here, there's like nothing behind it. So these barriers, they're spaced out like really far. Because essentially as a car hits this, there's like an allowable distance behind that the safety barrier allows you to have. So if you think about it, the bigger the gaps between the posts as a vehicle hits this, the like the further your barrier will go back before it like flings you back into the road. Whereas if there was like something behind it, I don't know, like a like a bridge parapet or perhaps like a sheer drop or something. You'll notice the posts are like really close together. That's because as you hit it, more posts will be like be doing work and like they'll be keeping you like into the road a bit more. So yeah, next time you're driving down the motorway, have a look at the safety barriers and you should be able to notice the post spacings. They'll change depending on what's behind it. If it's like this, just loads of grass, you'll notice massive spacings. If there's like a lump of concrete or something, you'll notice it should shrink down to loads of small spacings. All right, so we'll just screw this last one on. Then we're done. 
done. Good as new. So next up, we're just going to load our tool. we got to go grab the beacons. And of course, we do this from this end, the safer end, because down this end, we're, we're like protected the entire way. And as we like pick these up, like we've made it less safe because vehicles could come across it. I mean, they could come across there anyway. What I, like what I said earlier, these cones, these traffic beacons, they're not going to save your life if you're stood here and a car tries to go through them. It's an important thing to remember if you work on the side of the road. You're never really safe. And unfortunately, lots of people driving past like on the motorway when they see roadworks they don't really slow down it is pretty scary when you're on the side of the road but that's why we're paid the big bucks right all right so we pick up the bases as well we can only load three in a wheelbarrow at a time i mean if this was me that would be filled with all of them and the beacons i hate doing wheelbarrow trips pain in my life unfortunately no apprentice to help us this time so we gotta load this ourselves i think i've also just realized why contractors hire people to do this traffic management <laughs> Oh, it's tedious. It's quite tedious. Anyway, last base. Shove that in. Shove the wheelbarrow in. Close her up. Back in the truck. We've made sure our arrow on the back goes straight. And then start the engine. And we're good to go. And we should still have our yellow lights on flashing. So people are aware. We build up speed. We then do the old mirror. Blind spot. Pull out. Obviously, we're indicating. And then we can turn off our flashy warning lights. And we're good to go. We're just a normal road user now. And then I've just got to find my way home without getting too lost. <laughs> Apparently we're driving at 140, I assume, kilometers an hour. That's quite quick, is it? Or is it not? All right, we turn off here. Undertake people, obviously. We get the back end out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mind the sign. Oh, God. We're going for an overtake round a corner. That's dangerous. We've got a strict schedule to keep, though. We can't get held up by traffic. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I landed it. Whoa, don't crash into me, mate. What are you doing? Look where you're going. I think nothing fell out of my truck. So we're good. We're good. <laughs> all right, stop signs. Look both ways. We're good. I mean, I was probably meant to stop as it said stop. But all right, we're here back at the depot. So we'll pull in here. And then we've just got to unload everything again. So damaged guardrails. They go into these scrap bins. All right, so they're all in there. We've got to reverse using our mirrors. Oh, looks good. Pop the drill back. Unload all of these. Where's the intern when you need him? Honestly, where is he? Where's the option game? Oh, there you go. There we go. Do these as well. Close the tailgate. Drive this back into the vehicle bay. And then we've done the mission. Woohoo! All right, then we can come over here. We can get our next mission. What are we going to be doing this time? Oh, we're going to be trimming some trees. Use the multi-purpose vehicle with the new saw attachment. Yes. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right, so in here, I think should be... Oh... Look at that. It's got a hedge cusser on the front of it. That looks dangerous. So we'll get in here. We're going to drive this to the area, hopefully taking the correct turn. So we want to go right, not left this time. So no traffic, no traffic. We're good. Man, this truck looks so dangerous. It's got a hedge cutter on the front. All right, straight through the stop sign. Oh, sorry, car. Boosh. <laughs> you just got sideswiped by a hedge cutter. Oh, I just got an achievement called battering ram as well. We're a bit trapped here what happened oh look in the mirror i think we we just ran over a green car anyway excuse me sorry <laughs> you're green i thought you were leaves i thought you needed trimming oh man i really i want to drive through this cornfield oh we can't go through the cornfield oh that is a shame i thought with the hedge cuts on the front we could just like do some aerial graffiti in there or something anyway we're about to arrive so here we are because we're only on a small little road we don't need traffic management because i think we will be moving so we press q and that raises that up oh man look at this machine so that's up there we press e to turn the blades on they look really slow what is this i don't know what that bar is at the bottom of the screen oh it's how wide okay so if i drive close we go we go too close we gotta stay between the three sets of lines oh look look at it we are trimming this tree baby i think we want to go pretty close to those three lines we don't want to overdo it though and we do this to stop like lorries getting clipped by trees oh and eventually any vehicle if you let it grow long enough right we've trimmed the trees so we turn off the blade. We bring this back down. Oh, look at it. It's so cool. And then we get out. We open the tailgate. You can see I've turned I've turned the beacons on. Safety first. And then we just load up the branches. So we grab these, shove them in there. You can see they are literally in my hand. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love simulator games. I feel like I'm in like PE doing that like the beanbag running thing. We have to run to one, run back, drop it. And then run to one that's a bit further away. Pick it up, sprint back, drop it. What was that called? Anyway, final piece to go in. And then it's back to the yard. So we'll go in, turn the engine on. And sod this, I'm just going to turn around. It's actually telling me I can do this. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to start looking each direction. I can turn off my flashing lights now since we're, we've are we started moving. We're no longer stopped on the side of the road. Stop signs, look both ways, all good. Definitely legal. Oh, sorry. 
That was literally an accident. Oh, no, we're trapped. Oh, what have I done? Come on, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle. Oh, balls. What have I done? Right. Problem is, we... we, we well, we crashed the car. <laughs> Excuse me, mate. Can you try reversing, please? My front wheels can't touch the floor and it's front wheel drive. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's working. Much better. He's been... <laughs> right. There we go. We're free. We're free. Right. Check the mirror. We're good. Sorry, mate. So back in the depot, we come over here to dispose of the branches. So they just go in this one, is it? Oh, they go in this one over here. Okay. So I should probably drive to the correct corner. And we load all of these up. Sorted. Drive this back to where we got it from. I'm actually going to reverse in this time as well. So using my mirrors, which I can't really see out of. There's, <laughs> there's that bar in the way, but I think. Is that good? Let's check the other one. Yeah, that's good. Oh, fair play. I've done it. That was a tight little reverse as well. Sorted. Mission accomplished. We cut a hedge. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Now we got to do litter picking. Really? So we got this vehicle again, the traffic management one. We've got to load up some trash bags and the garbage picker, which we call a litter picker in Britain. One of these little army things with a claw on the end. And then we're back on the road and we're going to be doing some litter picking. I feel like this is punishment for when I crash into that car earlier. Anyway, we're on to the motorway. This guy's going too slow, so we're going to overtake him. And the stretch of road where litter picking is here. Oh, you can see all the litter, right? Let's park up. We've got to switch our thing over, turn the lights on. So you can see the lights on the top, they're pointing left. So they're saying, oh wait, don't crash into us. Go around us. And we'll open this down, grab our thing, grab a little bag. And then we're literally just picking up rubbish, are we? Nice, into the back. And when you're doing this sort of thing, you always want to be looking up flow of the traffic. You want to see what's coming towards you. You don't want to be doing it pointing that direction because if a car suddenly goes into the hard shoulder, you'd be dead. So the trash bag is full. You can see it's full to the brim. So we sprint back to to the truck keep an eye behind us oh run into the truck fill it in rinse and repeat all right so i'm doing this end first now so we'll just walk back up picking the rubbish and the bag's full you can see traffic flying past we can see them coming so we're we're safer than we would be if we we're doing it the other way around pick up that pick up that do the furthest away ones head back we just got these final four bits of rubbish to pick up so there you go and then we're good. We head back. I tell you what, I, I hate people that litter. So bloody selfish. If you're watching this and you've ever littered, stop it. <laughs> Don't litter, it's bad. Like, just put it in a damn bin, man. Honestly, littering is for architects. Back in the truck, switch off the warning light, and then we're going back to the yard. Oh, oh God, oh God. <laughs> I tried to, <laughs> I tried to not crash. It's really hard to not crash when people drive like pillocks around here. What are you doing, mate? Anyway, we're back in the yard. So I assume rubbish is going in that red one. Yeah, it looks about right. So we open that, grab the rubbish, shove it in there. A few of the other bag. Repeat for the rest of the bags. Grab the litter picker, shove it back over there. Close tailgate and drive this back over here. I'm not going to reverse it back in. Just litter picker, isn't it? Not trying to impress anyone anymore. Mission accomplished. All right, been told to trim more trees. I'm going to say no. What does no do? Oh, it just gives us a new job. Nice. I can I can refuse crappy jobs. No more litter picking for me. Remove cord. Traffic management. No chance, mate. Oh, we can actually, we can select what ones we want to do. I didn't know this was a map. Of course it's a map. Right, so we've got potholes to fix, which could be quite fun. Pretty manual though. But this one over here, resurface an entire road. I'm not going to lie, that sounds pretty damn fun. If you want to see that though, you have to boost the like button and let me know in the comments that you want to see another video of this. Because for now, we're going to leave it there. So peace, love, and road maintenance simulating. <laughs> Bye!